Repentance is a decision to immediately stop doing what you were doing, stop sinning, and to follow Jesus. Repentance is not a process. If you repent, you are done with sin. You are finished with it. You don't want to do it anymore because you know that the wages of sin is death. You have decided to follow Jesus and you are not going to sin anymore. You hate sin. You cut it off. You get rid of it. That is repentance. Sanctification is a process that takes time to cleanse and purify us. That takes time. But repentance takes place like a cut off. You cut it off with a knife. You die to sin and you live for Christ. Paul explained this very nicely in Romans chapter 6. Romans chapter 6 verse 2. How shall we who died to sin still live in it? Or do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus have been baptized into His death? Therefore, we have been buried with Him through baptism into death in order that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. Through baptism, we bury the old man of sin. He has died to sin. And from that water comes a new man who is regenerated in Christ. That is why a person must repent first before he is baptized. The old man must die. You must put to death the old man of sin. And then you make a public confession that I am following Jesus. I am alive for Jesus. I am not dead in my sins anymore. I am dead to sin, but I am alive for Christ. We read in verse 5, For if we have become united with Him, in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our self was crucified with him, and that our body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. For he who has died is free from sin. When you repent, you die to sin, and then you are free from sin. You live for Jesus. You come out of that water and you are a new man. You have died to sin and you are alive to Christ. Verse 8. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. Knowing that Christ having been raised from the dead, is never to die again. Death no longer is master over him. For the death that he died, he died to sin, once and for all, but the life that he lives, he lives to God. Even so, consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, that you should obey its lusts. And do not go on presenting the members of your body to sin as instruments of unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. Verse 14, For sin shall not be master over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. We have been made free from the power of sin, so that we can follow Jesus in the power of His Spirit. Verse 16, Do you not know that when you present yourselves to someone as a slave for obedience, 
You are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin resulting in death, or of obedience resulting in righteousness. But thanks be to God that though you were slaves of sin, you became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching to which you were committed. And having been freed from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. I'm speaking in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you presented your members as slaves to impurity and to lawlessness resulting in further lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness resulting in sanctification. Sanctification is the process whereby we are cleansed and purified. As we walk with Jesus, we are convicted by the Holy Spirit of areas in our lives that are not pleasing to Him. And the moment that He convicts you, then you stop doing that thing. You don't carry on and go back tomorrow and you've done exactly the same thing. Then you have not repented. When the Holy Spirit identifies that specific thing in your life, you immediately obey. You cut it off. And in that way you are cleansed. You are purified. You are sanctified. That is a process. But repentance is immediate. You decide, I'm going to follow Jesus. I'm not going to do that sin anymore. I obey Jesus. And then the process of cleansing comes after that. But if we go on to the same sin all over again, we have never repented. Then we are just still sinners. A child of God is not a sinner. He walks in holiness. And he is being purified by the Holy Spirit all the time. He walks in obedience to God. The moment he identifies something in his life that is not right, he stops doing it. Because he wants to be pleasing to God. You become holy like he is holy. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Repent and be holy. That is what God requires of us. May Jesus bless you.